I'm Paola Marisan and welcome to this episode of Coffee with a Candidate. I'm here today with Ms. Gail Regan. She's running for mayor um, here in the city of Evansville. Ms. Regan likes her coffee with cream, sweetener, and fairly strong. So, um... And all day long. <laughs> We're drinking coffee with candidates and asking them questions because they're running for office and you're going to vote for them. Coffee with candidates. Pixel rat. Have you heard of it? Pix? No. Pizza what? rat. I don't think so. He took the piece of pizza uh, up and uh, uh, the stairs in New York. Do you think we can get our own pizza rat? Now, the pizza rat, this, the <laughs> pizza, the rat took the piece of pizza up the stairs. Yes. We're just wondering if we can get our own pizza rat. You want to have a pizza rat. How would I stand in the way of getting a pizza rat? Do you have a favorite Kardashian? A favorite, pardon? Kardashian. Um, I wish I did. I like Kim a little bit, so. Really? Kim? Yeah, she, Everybody usually goes for Chloe. Well, um, that too. And what's your perception of what millennials want from our next mayor of Evansville? I think they want, they want to be. They want to be who they are. Uh, they want to have opportunity. Um, I think the best thing that the mayor can do is provide that groundwork and let the millennials go. What are some of the projects regarding the future of millennials and other generations that you're looking forward to? put in place for the city of Evansville? I think I talked a little bit about education as part of my platform and it's, um, and it's because it should be a concentration of every mayor, whether or not you can have direct impact. What I would like to do is what a couple of other mayors have done in the state and about 90 cities across the nation at this point, and that is to develop a program to help students who Make to, whose parents make too much money and they don't qualify for federal funding, but not enough money to send them on to advanced education past high school. And that they're called gap students. And it starts in high school and it, it allows students to gain that, that education that they normally could not get. Um, the qualifications are simple. The qualifications have to do with those who live in Evansville. And I'd like to target high demand occupations right now. And I'd like that to be where people would, would go to school here within the county to start with. That gives millennials hope and opportunity. And I do believe that the greatest thing that we can give one another is opportunity. And I think millennials feel that way too. Just give them the opportunity to be who they are and what, and what they want to do in life and uh, let them go. Well, I'm not sure if you saw this, but a while back, Drake and McMill, do you know who they are? No. <laughs> We're going to move to another question. Our next question comes from Twitter, at Armand Sierrat, tweeted, I wonder if Gail Regan can whip or nay nay. Can you? Can whip what? Or nay nay. Who is, what is our nay? <laughs> Put your hand out, so if you want to do it with you. <laughs> you can put your hand out and you put your other hand out and you kind of move a little bit like this. There you go. See, she can whip and nay nay ball. Watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip. Kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Watch me nay nay. Why should millennials vote for you? I think because I'm the kind of person who really loves to have, um, I like to have involvement, I like to have people succeed, um, I like to, that, that, because I believe in people succeeding probably. Voting matters because it's the way you truly can shape uh, what is happening in your community, your state, or your nation. And folks tell me, well, it's not important because there's just one vote. But it is, it accumulates, and voting matters because it makes a difference. It also matters because individually I think you have a buy-in. If you have a voice, then you also want to be part of what's happening. And we need more and more people to feel a part of what's happening. We're almost out of time, and I know you're a busy lady. Um, but before we go, um, we're going to play a quick game of Lightning Round Word Association. Mm. 
Oh, this uh, is great. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll say a word, and you can say the first thing that pops into your mind. Okay. Okay, here we go. Evansville. Beautiful. Hemp. Very questionable. Convention Hotel. Here forever. Millennials. The, the brightest thing we have going. Ice cream. Oh, love it. <laughs> okay, um, that's all the time we have. Thank you again to our guest, Miss Gail Reekin. Stay in the know with a cup of joe. We're drinking coffee with candidates and asking them questions. Coffee with candidates. <laughs> Sorry about the pizza. That's right? okay. It was just really big between us. It's. Uh... I guess. Did you know what it was? No. It was. <laughs>